Hey friends, welcome to my channel. Today I am doing a pocket life little spread for the wild hair kits. So if you would like to see what is in my wild hair kit for the month of September, you can um, follow the link down below and you'll be able to see all the details of what I got in my kit, including the beautiful cut aparts from the Paige Evans Pick Me Up collection and uh, so I cut those apart <laughs> and I'm gonna, going to use them as my cards in the pockets and uh, I also got a Maggie Holmes cut apart but I think I just stick to the Paige Evans stuff. So I've just recently been, been getting into this pocket life stuff uh, just, be just because I want to be able to include more pictures in my memories and not have them all have to be layouts. And so I think it's a really fun style. I love watching uh, like Adele Toomey's videos and stuff. She does some really fun layouts and uh, yeah. So now I'm going to pick out some papers that I'm going to use for my project life cards or pocket life cards or whatever. Um, I am just going to like cut it out a pattern paper and for me, that works great. Um, it's I think it's a really simple way of making some some pocket life cards is to just cut up some paper. I think that's the easiest way to do it, especially if you don't have any or you're trying to save money but want to do both scrapbooking and pocket life, then I think that it's the perfect way to go. So yeah, I just cut it to size and now I'm going to decorate it. The picture at the top left is a picture of some family and I at my grandmother's house. We went out for dinner with her and then went to her house after for some dessert. In the middle one is just a picture of my husband and I. Uh, I think this was like in the springtime. And then the bottom picture is a picture of my coworker and I at a work party thing that we had, which is great because I'm glad we got that picture because we... Um, I don't work, I work for the same company, but I don't work um, like the exact same job now, so I don't get to see her. So it was nice that we have that memory and that picture together. So I'm using these really fun stickers from uh, Maggie Holmes, I think, and they're really, really gorgeous. I'm so glad I got them in my kit. I never got them when they came out, so I was really, 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 really happy to see them in my kit. And I think they're really pretty and delicate and um, it really fits with the vibe of my kit. Lots of Maggie Holmes in this one. Um, yeah, and that doily is from my stash. I use a lot of doilies from my stash because I love them and I have a ton of them. So <laughs> I got to use them up. And now I'm just going to decorate this card. That's kind of the fun part of it. You just go crazy with decorating and it is a blast. So, yeah, that's a, a good part about this po the pocket pages is you just kind of go crazy with it. I got these really pretty uh, fabric pieces from Pink Fresh Studio, and they're just really neat, um, just a neat touch to a project and adds different texture and layer to everything. So you'll probably be able to see them at some point. And, of course, I got enamel dots because I love enamel dots and... Um, they add the perfect little final touch to any project, in my opinion. I'm going to do a doodly border around just to kind of finish off the card and make it feel a little bit more complete. I don't know. I just really like the doodly borders. I definitely get that from Adele. I, I just, I don't know. I don't know what I like about them. I just do. And then I'm going to use some gold Heidi Swap color shine to sprinkle all over the page because I can't do a lot of projects without it. <laughs> do I watch Adele to me too much? <laughs> um, I'm just going to dab a little bit of it up so it doesn't make the page too wet and it dries faster. Okay, so what else do I add to that card? Journaling or something, or do I just leave it? Let's see, I can't quite remember. Oh yeah, some stickers. Because I definitely felt like it needed something more. It was still a little bit too plain, but uh, yeah, I do add a little bit more to it. 
I will leave the link down below for the wild hair kits. If you don't know what they are, it's a company that um, hand curates kits for uh, for you for whatever occasion or project or products that you like. You fill out a style profile and um, they will hand curate a kit just for you, which I think is so cool. I have, um, this is my second month in a row getting a kit and so far they've been both been phenomenal. There are two different sizes of kits. There's a deluxe kit and there's a petite kit. And this uh, month I got the deluxe kit. Next week I'll, or next month I'll be getting a petite kit, which is great because um, I'll get to incorporate things from my stash and uh, be able to use up maybe stuff from previous months or just uh, really get lower on my stash. Cause if you get, um, a huge kit each month, it just, if you don't craft enough, depends how much you craft, but if you don't craft enough, then it just kind of piles up month after month. So it's nice every once in a while to get a petite kit to, um, help reduce the amount you have just sitting in your craft room and use it up. So now I'm going to do some journaling on this card to, talk about what's going on in the picture above and I think that's good because there's only one picture of the event and I don't know if otherwise I would remember what we did or the details or why or anything like that because it's not a super detailed picture and it, there's only one from that day so I think it was good to take note of what we did and now I'm going to decorate that page that um yeah, that card. And you can see those fabric pieces there. They're, they're really nice and textured. And I really like that about them because um, we don't always get a lot of texture when we use a lot of stickers or ephemera. And it can look pretty flat or pretty plain. So I like the uh, added texture, like I said, <laughs> that they give. Um, yeah, I think they're cute. And I wouldn't have thought to buy them on my own just because you don't, when you don't see them in person, you don't really know. So to have these kits hand curated for us is, is just so cool because um, you really get the perfect kit for you. And for this month, I was going to be documenting a lot of um, like gardening and stuff. So I asked her to make it florally and all that stuff. So it's a gorgeous kit. I love mine. <laughs> Um, so now I'm just doing a little bit of decorating on this card, not too much because I didn't want to cover up too much of the, um, picture because it's basically just our faces. So I just did a little bit, just a little touch here and there. And, <clears throat> and, um, those other two cards obviously didn't really need anything. In my opinion, you can decorate those cards, but I figured they were already decorated enough. So I didn't really need anything. And the last one, definitely using a doily again. I love the doilies and using more of those gold stickers uh, to kind of bring the whole thing together uh, top to bottom. And uh, you can see, obviously, at the top, I had that title and then I have a heart in a couple of the cards in that same gold puffy sticker. So I wanted to really bring that all the way down to the bottom. And what else? I put some foam tape behind that to give it some dimension. And it's funny because I have those stickers in my stash too. And um, I use I just recently used them on a different project, which the video might have been up a couple days ago. And I put that sticker up on foam as well. So it's kind of funny that I used that same sticker in two similar ways on two completely different projects because it was a Happy Mail project. It should have been up, I think, three days ago. So you can check that out if you want. It was a big, giant file folder Happy Mail thing, and it was awesome. Um, and bringing down the gold Heidi Shine, Heidi Swap Color Shine again down to the bottom so that it flows nicely with what is at the top and brings in all the gold together. I really like these little fabric pieces for layering too, like you can see what I did there. And you can also use it as like a faux tape kind of thing. That's what I wanted to do, but it just didn't look right on this photo. But I think I have done one like that recently. Um, yeah, but anyway. 
So, uh, and I like the colors that are in it too. Very pretty. And now I'm just going to layer up some more stickers, use some foam because that's what I like to do. Mop up some of the ink splatters or the paint splatters or whatever, and bring in more of that gold to tie it all together all around the photo. Sorry about the lighting. It should go back to normal in a second. I think the lighting gets confused when I bring out that Heidi Swap color shine because I'm moving my hand so much, but it should go back to normal shortly. And as always, adding enamel dots as the final touch and you'll be able to see some close-ups in the pictures and how the spread turned out as a whole. And I'm really happy with it. I'm happy to get another page done and I think it's really cute and I love my kits and I love how it turned out. So anyway, like I said, all the links are down below and thank you so much for watching and tuning in and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.